I'm going to go with my topic. Okay. So this topic, uh, I thought of it today, like probably like two hours ago. And so I'm going to list out six things. And I want you guys to rank the most important thing to the uh, most least important thing that's in your life with these six, six things. So the six things I have are... Do I need a pen and a paper? No, it, it's pretty generic stuff. Okay. So you're going to know. Uh, movies, TV shows, books, games, comics, and music. And we're listing it from least important to most important? Most important to least important. <clears throat> music? So if, I guess each of going first. <laughs> oh, I thought we were just going to shout out, like, you know. We need order. order. We can't just shout out shit. Wait, what were the things? Music? Yeah. yeah. I, need, I need to actually write this. Music, thing. books, comics, music, books, TV shows? Books, yeah. Games, TV, movies. Okay, so I'm. Movies? No, movies, TV shows. Yeah. Books. Yeah. Games. Yeah. Comics. Yeah. Music. Okay. Okay, yeah, I will go first. So, music. TV shows, movies, books, games, and comics. <laughs> she's not, she's not so confused. Games? <laughs> I care just as much about games as I do about comics. <laughs> Five or six. Yeah, I was confused. I was, but I was, I was like, I, I really don't read comics, so. I was, I was, I was sitting there very uh, intrigued to what your last two would be, like what order they would be in. <laughs> uh, Is, was, wouldn't it have been kind of obvious that... Yeah, that, like I guess comics so. would be at the very end. I guess so, but you you don't play games either, so. No, and but you didn't specify what kind of games, right? Like I could have been like a board game freak and been like, yeah, games, but obviously I don't like video game or anything. But yeah. I used to, but not anymore. Back in the day. Back in the day, I was gonna say yeah. Yeah, like when N sixty four was still a thing and golden age, still a thing. Yeah, that's true. It's literally it's five from you. If you just look to your left, it's there. Don't don't follow his directions. He doesn't know where the fuck he's pointing. <laughs> I have a like eternal compass. It's, it's, I'm lost. When did when did you guys get it? Or did someone just just do you guys just have it like from like a long time ago? From a long time ago. Oh okay. Yeah, it's different. Did you did you ever play Wave Race? Does anyone remember yeah. that game? Yeah, that game was fucking oh my God, terrible. That, that game was awesome. I loved it. <sighs> Uh, that game was great. That when you and GoldenEye. Like, when you have GoldenEye and like Mario Kart to play, why would you play Wave Race? Uh, you guys That's didn't right. mention the best Nintendo 64 game and No Mercy. Just saying. No? It's not bad. Best no, wrestling game ever! It's, it's actually pretty good. It was sweet. It's, it's a good game. I was a woman's champion and I was like a 300 pound man. <laughs> That's all I want. You just overpowered the other person. I remember, no. Uh, I, re I have comics coming in last. Last? Yep, games <laughs> coming in at number five, music at number four, books at number three, movies at number two, and TV shows at number one. <laughs> why, com why is comics last? Because I literally do that the least now. Oh, okay. Uh, I just so started it's... playing Rocket League, so I've done that more than comics, so it gets spot number five. It's a good game, man. It's fun. Better for the Xbox One? Yeah. It's cool shit. It's good game. So are, are you saying this priority list is just relevant to like the time now like right now i guess whatever what do you guys whatever you guys think that you're just like your, you your your personal yeah mm. comics okay. are always going to be last for me they're kind of like a thing i can go without oh, okay i'm yeah, really I... into books now though man for some reason i've been reading a lot a lot of those Fiction. um self-help books uh no all kinds ooh, of shit ooh, ooh. the new one i have right now is called no place to hide it's on um ed it's about edward snowden and releasing the nsa documents it's, oh, yeah. it's really good if you need, if you want to watch a good documentary, uh, you should watch um, Citizen Four. Fucking badass. Oh, I remember that. It'll, it'll, it'll fucking scare you, man. Is it about him? Yeah, but it's about like more. It's fucking freaky, man. It's no such thing as privacy. They're watching you right now. Some guys in 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 the NSA right now, are like, I don't know, man. He be doing anything, touching himself, watching us talk right now. You never know. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like you were trying to build up some anticipation there, and like we were just like. I fell off. Next time you're going to be putting a post-it on your webcam. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just fucking hide it. It's just gone. <laughs> yeah. They can't see me. How about you, Derek? Um. Well, 
I definitely put music as number one, and yeah. games, and games as number two. But I'm lumping the the last four together as number three. I can't decide. Wow. What? <laughs> I never pegged you for a music person first. I thought you'd be a gamer first. No, okay. it's music, music first, then games. What kind of music? Uh, all sorts, oh. really. That's what makes it the best. Is that it? You know, there's music in movies. There's music in TV shows. There's music in games. It's 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 the, it's everywhere, right? I, it's me, I remember we were drinking one night, and I tried to test him on gaming oh, yeah. music, and I just put I just put, like I just put song. twenty seconds of the song, and this guy boom gets it right away. Nice. Gets it like I was like, what the like fuck, a library man? in there. Anyway, and then I couldn't decide between. I, I want to put books and comics as number three probably together and then TV movies as number four. But it's really close between all four of those. I guess I, I, you could have substituted your comics for uh, mangas for you. Well, that's what comics are, right? Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Someone eating chips? No, she's oh, eating, sorry, cel eating celery. celery. <laughs> eating celery. <laughs> sorry. Uh, in a sound test, I would have been like, someone's eating chips. Like, that's not but, fair. But I that's what you always assume when, like, when it's over like some sort of like voice device it's voice. just chips it's just chips it always it always sounds like that yeah even on the I've... phone it sounds like chips and shit yeah but okay all right for mine hey kudos yeah. for being healthy i know i'm starving right now my <laughs> celery <laughs> <The> celery's <laughs> not <laughs> healthy i want you credit, I want you credit. <laughs> i'm the one that had the celery <laughs> gotta be some celery left she probably nibbled all of it. Probably just damn, damn rabbit. Hey, hey. hey. I've nibbled of, half of it. Have you ever heard of ants on a log? Please. Yes. Just, yes. Dude. Really? That literally sounds like the most disgusting thing. Peanut butter and raisins on celery is fucking uh, nasty. So good, Peanut man. butter on anything is amazing. Quick question. What? <laughs> uh, <Harms>. Smooth or... <laughs> 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 Hard for cramping or style. What? <laughs> what are we? Uh, smooth or crunchy peanut butter? Mm, oh. Crunchy. Crunchy. Crunchy, but I always get smooth, so. <laughs> the only Contradictory. Is hard to spread. Yeah. Especially on bread that's not toasted. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because if you, like, try to put crunchy on, like, normal untoasted bread, you, like, rip the bread, and it's like, fuck this. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta get some really... <laughs> It's not worth it, man. You got to get some like really hefty bread, like that rye bread that your parents brought one day. That, oh my that thing has some heft to it. Like, you can put some crunchy peanut butter on it. Do you remember that. when peanut butter used to come in glass jars and had the peanut on top? No. What are we, like 40? <laughs> you don't remember that? I used to have them. They used to be like my piggy banks when I was a kid. The uh, the bears, it used to be in the shape of a bear, and it would be peanut butter, and on top oh. would be a real peanut. I don't remember the peanut on top, but I do remember the bears. Yeah, I and they think. were glass. Some of them were glass, and then later on they went to plastic, and then they went to what they have now. But yeah, it was like glass. It was really cool. It's probably because it's really expensive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> have you? Do you guys think the combination of peanut butter and cheese sounds good? Uh, no. No. Never had. That. Yeah. Someone. I don't know. I don't can't remember who it was, but they were just going on about how it's like the most amazing thing, and I was like, love both those things Can I individually. Kind of but... yeah. You know what's really good? Cheese like cut up into like squares with onions diced on top of it and seasoning salt. It sounds gross. Really good. Say that again. Cheese like you take a block of cheese and you like cut it into little squares, and then you like dice up some onions, put some onions like sprinkle onions on top, and then put some seasoning salt over all of it. It's really good. That sounds great, honestly. Uh, I have to say one more thing. Does it not seem crazy that these little peanuts murder people every day? <laughs> like, I've never <laughs> think about it, man. Who <laughs> these, these little these little like death these little death fucking nuts and they kill people. It's insane how many people are allergic to peanut butter, man. But a girl yeah. in high school had to get like stabbed in the chest and taken away in an ambulance because someone who had eaten a peanut butter sandwich touched her like throat and she started like swelling up. Yeah, that would suck so it's much. It's like oh in, you God. can indirectly murder someone without knowing. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's crazy. It's fucked up. Imagine like being allergic to bees. Like a bee just mm. a fucking like it's not like 
like you can avoid peanuts. Like you know where the peanuts are. <laughs> that bee can't. You can't ignore. That bee just totally. comes out of fucking nowhere. You're like having a fun walk in the park, and you get on your dead. It's over. You have no control over bees. Yeah. Uh, well, I never got stung by a bee. No. Nope. What a nice know. life you lead, Harv. I've only I know, been right? stung by a wasp. That's different. It's it hurts like a bitch, but just for like a little while, and yeah. then it kind of just goes. And you're like, ah, okay, fuck it. Okay. The, uh, wait, I... one story. In the summer, I was working with the school district, and I was weed whacking in this shitty town called McBride. And uh, <laughs> shout out to McBride. <laughs> I think I'm not even kidding. This the high school has like 60 students. Wow. No joke. Anyway, they were like, I was walking by and they were like all in the same fucking classroom. It's, it's sad. But <laughs> I was like weed whacking. This guy like started throwing stuff at me. And I'm like, what the hell? And I looked down and I had hit a wasp nest. And there must have been like a thousand wasps and like on me. And I didn't even realize I ran like like a fucking tiger was chasing me, man, into the truck. And I sat in the truck for like 10 minutes. <laughs> just, just to wait them out. I, yeah, they scare me, man. Fuck that. Okay, so for my for my list, I would have to put music number one. That's a necessity for me. I have to have music. Pink Floyd. Anywhere, anywhere do you mean, I... Yeah, do you mean music or do you mean Pink Floyd? No, music in general. <laughs> I'm on a Metallica kick right now. I've been listening to a lot of Metallica. Hmm. Um, no, everywhere I go, like if I'm like going, like going to work, traveling anywhere, music is number one. Then I would go with TV shows. Derek knows... <laughs> I think I have a problem with TV shows. <laughs> yeah. I each have a problem. Slightly. <laughs> hey, I've been trying to cut cut some out, right? And we're very yeah, happy cut for some your out, and then you also need to like get on some. So I don't know. Well, you're not helping me. You're 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 an enabler. <laughs> <laughs> you're an enabler. You, you know what? I agree with Harv's logic of why he likes TV shows because it's way better for getting into like character development stuff rather than a movie. Which is so linear and like you know two hours long. It's hard to yeah, get. You don't have you don't have that investment in a movie. Yeah. Like, no. Really? Unless it's the character. But that's kind of the beauty of it. Sometimes, right? Yeah. Like. Unless it's Frozen, man. So much fucking character development in that show. <laughs> it's off the chain. That was a great movie. Uh, and then I would go video games. For sure, that'd be number three for me. And then okay. number four would be. Uh, Books, and then uh, movies. No, actually, no. I go movies, then books, and then comics at the end because I don't read comics. Comics are. I just don't see the point of comics. Comics are cool if you're the, the collector, and if you like to read them, just torrent them. You just steal them. Yeah, because like I, I started watching, uh, not watching, uh, reading The Walking Dead. I got to like 103 or something like that, and now I just go to the synopsis when they come out and just. Read through like that. Yeah, it's weird. Hmm. It's too tough. I do that. I do that with movies. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> when I don't have time to watch them, which is most of the time, um, just read the synopsis, and then I can contribute in a discussion if it comes up. <laughs> Unless they ask how the how, how the acting was in the movie, I'm like all right. Oh yeah, okay, I didn't think about that. Yeah. You could say anything though. You just be like, oh, it was great, and then people would be like. <laughs> Yeah, if, if it's like someone no like Hugh knows. Jackman, I can assume how it was. So Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Does, does that does that mean that you don't like his acting or you like his acting? I do not like his acting. Okay. <laughs> he's not that bad. He's talented he, as fuck, though. He's questionable. Yeah. Uh, I think the roles that he plays occasionally... I guess what he's known for, I, I don't like his acting in X-Men. Um, but generally speaking, yeah, he's he's a pretty decent actor. He just... Hasn't come out yet, I don't think. I actually don't think I've seen a Hugh Jackman movie that wasn't Wolverine or the X Men. Les Miserables. I've never seen that. I haven't seen that. Good Was movie. Good? They Very good. Or remember, did we watch Prisoners together? I can't remember, but that was a weird movie. I like don't really know if we did. I can't remember. Have you seen Prisoners? Yeah, I have. I don't know who I watched it with, though. So we must have seen it together. Um, but that was a weird movie. That was a good movie too. It Jay was. Jake Hall, though. That guy, I. I don't like him very much. Really? Big fan, yeah. Dude, he was good in that boxing movie. I just watched that recently. Oh, I didn't watch that. Um, Southpaw? Southpaw, like that. yeah. Oh, that's a good movie, man. It was really good. Looked decent. Yeah. It looked decent. Uh, okay. what, what about Leo? Who's pumped for Leo? Good job, Leo. High five. I still haven't watched The Revenant. I haven't seen it either. 
Apparently but that's good. he just fights a bear at the beginning of the movie, and the rest of the movie is just him dying. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I haven't seen all of it, but I've watched like a good hour of I it. I just saved you two hours, Harv. Awesome. <laughs> I, I know he kills the bear, and then he like sleeps inside the bear. He did a Star Wars thing. You he does not sleep inside bear. the bear. He sleeps inside like a horse or some shit. A horse it. or something like that? A horse? He sleeps inside an animal, for sure. Oh, okay. I haven't gotten to that part, so thanks, oh, guys. Oh, sorry, thanks for bad. ruining that. Spoiler. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Spoiler um, the remember the one watch. episode we did Game of Thrones? We spoiled the shit out of that. <laughs> <laughs> the Red Wedding? Everyone dies. <laughs> yeah, I was pissed about that. I'm still on season two, so I'm very pissed. Wait, he actually ruined it for you? Mm -hmm, yeah. Oh, that's sad. Poor I didn't this... know he I didn't know he dies and then like you had to also describe the scene where he dies where people think he's still alive and I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> great. We, I think she, you listened to that one episode, right? I think because we spoiled it in that one episode. Oh, we're the worst people. Yeah, okay. you should have put a spoiler alert. I was saying that the entire time, but everyone was like, no, well fucking if they if they listen to it, fuck it, who cares? Do you wanna know what happened in the last season? No. <laughs> no, I don't. Okay, I won't tell you that. I still plan to watch it one day, so. 